and the new American Idol was revealed. Lane tells me he is still processing this American Idol win. He is now heading to New York for an appearance on Good Morning America and then a very special performance on Live with Kelly and Ryan. Donya Backus, ABC News, Hollywood. Well, the winner, Lane Hardy, he spoke to reporters after the show, and he says he's overwhelmed by the results and it will take some time to sink in. He also told fans what to expect with his first album. My first album is going to be just expressing myself to my, my fans and, and showing them who I am as an artist. Well, he's got the hair. American <laughs> Idol has been renewed for another season. No, he's got the, he's got the whole country look down he to with the, little, with the little bolo he and does. everything. Yeah, I know. I Sparkles. had a yeah. feeling it was going to be him the whole time, and he plays his own guitar. So <laughs> how could it not? I know. L Lindsay needs to predict every American Idol winner. <laughs> yeah, that's if she says that's who it's going to be. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. Sure well, is. Well, this uh, morning's top stories in a full hour of Island News starts right now. We also have a power outage in Kaka'ako. Over 1,700 customers are impacted. We'll have weather and traffic, and like you said, right now. <laughs> now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Well, coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, a busted air conditioner leaves some Mililani High School students and their parents hot under the collar over a sweltering school classroom. And a car fire causes an early morning alarm on Sunday. Hear why neighbors say they are not surprised. Fire investigators call it a crime. And time to buckle up. We'll tell you how Honolulu police officers are kicking off this year's National Click It or Ticket campaign. Well, good morning, Hawaii. It is now 6 o'clock on this Aloha Monday morning. Aloha Monday. That's how we're going we're gonna to start the week off right. We want to get right back outside with a look at your weather and traffic. Tasia, what's it looking like out there? Well, weather this morning is looking a bit better than traffic. Again, we do have that power outage in Kaka'ako. It is affecting Ala Moana, Kaka'ako, Makali, Mo'ili'ili, and Waikiki. Again, 1100, about 1,100 customers are impacted. If you come across any traffic signal failures that are failing, in those areas definitely treat as an always stop and also drive with extreme caution in that area this morning we'll continue to monitor this but shifting over back to weather look at outside in Honolulu beautiful conditions we do have some cloud coverage temperatures are dipping down just a bit but our humidity levels are raising and that's all because of that cloud coverage and all of the added moisture within the atmosphere we'll continue to feel that not only for this morning but for the remaining of the week so definitely stay hydrated we do have our winds even dropping down just a bit more east northeasterly at three miles per hour. Elsewhere, we are seeing double digits just for Lanai City and Lihue and below 10 everywhere else. A southeasterly winds already for the western half of the state. That's what it's going to look like for the entire state by tonight and into the remaining of the week. Temperatures are also pretty warm today. Your daytime highs 85 to 90. Just yesterday, we did also tie or break records with our heat temperatures. Take a look at all of that humidity just lingering over the state. Partly cloudy conditions for the windward side for this morning and then by the leeward coast later on in your late afternoon that will continue for the remaining of the week again temperature highs 85 to 90 and sunset at 705 now here's a look at your traffic in Kapolei, we do have the left lane closed on the H1 both directions from Makakila Drive through Farrington Highway overpass. That's from today through Friday, 8.30 till 3 o'clock. So just a heads up, west side traffic is looking clear now from our Nanakuli area, but we do have those touch and go traffic beginning at Manager's Drive in the zipper lane and on the H1 freeway. Also typical congestion through Fort Weaver and Kolowaka. Farrington Highway through Waipahu, some touch and go traffic, and then it clears up through Pro City on Kamehameha. And if you are coming in from the east side on Kalani Anole Highway, clear conditions all the way through, also pretty dry. We did have some touch and go traffic through Lokahi. That has just cleared up. Pali Contra Flow is also open. We're seeing clear conditions in that area, as well as the Like Like and the H3. That's a look at your weather and your traffic. Back to the desk. Tasia, getting you ready this morning. Thank you so much. Well, we begin this hour in central Oahu where Mililani students are sweating it out while they're trying to study. That's right, and that's all because of the AC in the library, which has had issues since January. The school says they are working to fix parts of the 20-year-old system, but it won't be done until October. KITV4 spoke to one parent who says she's frustrated that her child has to learn in an uncomfortable environment. These are our children. They need to be, you know, 
comfortable and, and, and doing their work and getting good grades and they can't do that in this environment. But I'm pretty sure if it was the office, it would have been fixed the very next day. And the repair project expected to cost up to $180,000. Well, Honolulu fire investigators are classifying a Sunday morning car fire as an arson. It happened on Paoa Road off the Pali Highway. Fire crews arrived shortly after 3.30 to find a car engulfed in flames inside a garage. And KTV4 spoke to some nearby residents who say this isn't the first time HFD has been called to put out flames there. So for sure they tried this area one, one time before. It just didn't explode. Um, we found the bucket and the, and the explosives. There was no actual explosion over by the shed. So this is the second time in the same exact area. Now, no injuries were reported, and officials say damage estimates are unknown at this time. Well, when you hit the road this morning, you might want to make sure you buckle up like you always should. That's right, because KITV Force Mackenzie Stasco live this morning with why police are stepping up enforcement. Good morning, Mackenzie. Hey, Tom Lindsay, good morning. We are live here outside of HPD headquarters talking about the annual Click It or Ticket campaign, which officially launches today. And this isn't just Oahu, this is going to be statewide. We're live here with Captain Ben Moskowitz, who heads the Honolulu Police Department's Traffic Division. Captain, thank you for joining us this morning. We know extra officers will be out patrolling statewide. How big of an issue is it for people not wearing seatbelts here on, on Oahu? Oh, it's a huge issue. Um, you know, we're really great. If you look at the compliance, numbers were 97 percent that's really amazing uh, unfortunately in 2017 we had 60 traffic fatalities statewide uh, that involved people in cars like motor vehicle occupants of those 20 were unrestrained so almost a third of the unrestrained people from that year um, were, were, were traffic fatalities and studies show that when used properly the seatbelt can save your life um, that, that's 20 people who aren't around today that maybe would have been if they were properly restrained in their car it's, it's real simple it takes two or three seconds Let's click it. I'd much rather you click it than I have to give you a ticket. And I also read that a lot of people choose not to wear seatbelts during the nighttime hours. Why is that? Uh, you know, I have no idea. Uh, common sense would tell you an, an accident is maybe even more likely to happen at night when visibility is reduced, when there are more people driving faster speeds, when people are, tend to be more impaired by alcohol or drugs. So the times when those collisions occur, you would, should be even more apt to wear your seatbelt. Uh, I can't explain to you why people don't wear their seatbelts, but I can tell you that we will be out doing enforcement statewide, daytime and nighttime uh, for the next few weeks. So click it or ticket. And let's talk about the law. If you don't know, Hawaii does have a universal seatbelt law that essentially means that everyone in the vehicle needs to buckle up. Captain, what is the protocol when it comes to children? So children under the age of four have to be in a child safety seat. Uh, children who are under the age of eight have to either be in a booster seat or a child safety seat. Uh, and if you look right on the side of your child safety seat or your booster seat, or even if you're shopping for one, they all have height and weight uh, suggestions and weight ranges. My suggestion would be keep your child uh, in a safety seat or a booster seat as long as possible, because that's gonna be in the event, unlike the event of a collision, a real serious collision, that safety seat or that booster seat could very well be what saves your child's life. All right, Captain, thank you so much. So again, the Click It or Ticket campaign officially launches today, and that means police officers statewide in all four counties will again have extra patrols out on the roadways, watching for people who aren't buckling up. We'll talk more about the fines and how much it could cost you for breaking the law coming up within the next half hour, but for now, we'll send it back to you. So important to buckle up. Thank you, Mackenzie. Time now 6.06, and when we come back, an incredible act of generosity changing the lives of hundreds of students at Morehouse College. And a group of students from the University of Hawaii are honored for an out-of-this-world invention. See how they're shooting for the stars just ahead. If you're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. How does Kumon give your preschoolers a head start in school? Math and reading skills are just one part. Kumon kids also learn how to be good students from day one, entering school prepared to focus, pay attention, follow directions, and more. Kumon, where smart kids get smarter. Hi, I'm Jerry Griffin, the owner of Discount Windows and Doors. Welcome to our showroom. Come in for this month's special. Save 40% on Makai Windows and Doors. This month only and only from Discount Windows and Doors. You've heard about our self-cleaning windows, especially designed for Hawaii. All of our quality products are offered at the very best prices. We even offer a price match guarantee. Discount Windows and Doors has been in business for more than 10 years with thousands of satisfied customers. 
Come and visit our Kaneohe showroom today. When it comes to affordable home appliances, Ross, hands down, has the best deals on the island. We provide quality, repurposed appliances such as washers, dryers, and microwaves too, all at a fraction of the cost. Every purchase comes with a warranty. We also offer green beds. Every bed is completely rebuilt with new fabric. You won't find a better deal. Ross Appliance and Furniture will save you hundreds, guaranteed. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. It's the Miller Lite Taste All Right Pauhana Series. Welcome to Chingu, LA's K-Town right here in Honolulu. Enjoy Pauhana with our amazing food, unbeatable drink specials, and good friends. What more could a girl ask for? And do we mention the food? Our K-Town influenced dishes are surely gonna satisfy. Chicken and cheese, LA's three tacos, and Oxtail Kalani Gym, just to name a few. Come to Chingu, where everyone is a friend. Open daily from 5 to 2 a.m. Check it out on KITV.com slash Pauhana. The Plaza Assisted Living is opening a new community in Kaneohe this summer. Call us today to schedule a tour to view our new model apartment units and find out why so many are choosing to make the Plaza home. We're continuing to see one through to three for the northwest and east, two to four for the south. High tide around 545 at close to two feet. We did have high tide earlier this morning, right before the five o'clock hour. That was at half a foot. Low tide at 1009 at negative point 22 and partly cloudy conditions rolling in just for your mountain areas. So the leeward coast by the afternoon and that's due to our daytime highs, 85 to 90 degrees. Humid conditions all because of our east southeasterly winds under 15 throughout today and that's going to continue continue throughout the remaining of your week. Trade winds aren't expected to return until your Aloha Friday into the weekend. For your Monday forecast, light morning windward showers, a partly sunny skies, a hot and humid afternoon ahead, winds dropping by tonight, sunset at 7.05. Here's a look at your traffic. The shoulder will be closed today on the H1 freeway eastbound direction, Waimalu off-ramp through Aea Heights Drive. That's from today throughout your Thursday, 9 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock in the evening for shoulder widening work. And that power outage that we had in our town areas, Alamoana, Kaka'ako, Makali, Mo'ili'ili, and Waikiki, now less than 1,000 customers are still impacted. We do have that traffic signal failure now out at Kapilwani Boulevard and Makali Street. So again, that's just one of many that we're most likely going to pop up definitely treat as an always stop drive with extreme caution in the area coming in from the windward side clear conditions and just your typical slowdowns as you are coming in from the west side that's a look at your weather and your traffic over to you Hello for that, Tasia. Well, some UH students knocked it way out of the park at a national competition. And they landed a big victory with NASA. For that, they get this morning shakas. <laughs> There it is. That's the sound of liftoff for Hawaii's winning rocket. A group of students from UH Manoa and some UH community colleges created a team called Project Imua. The rocket won NASA's Rookie Award at the competition in Alabama. The NASA competition challenged students to create a reusable rocket that can handle a payload. Some of the students say this challenge might also lead them to shoot for the stars in their careers. I might become an astronaut. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've always wanted to become an astronaut okay, since I was a kid, and watching this rocket fly, I think um, I'm kind of finding confidence in myself that it's possible. Yeah, you know, he's just a rocket scientist, right? The, the Hawaii team named their rocket Fisher 8 after the 2018 Kilauea volcano eruption. This is my class, 2019. My family is making a grant to eliminate their student loans. I'll take a look at this. 
Morehouse College seniors got a surprise yesterday when billionaire investor Robert F. Smith announced that he would pay off the student loan debt for this year's graduating class. And the announcement surprised the faculty and staff on stage and left some students speechless. We're like, I don't think he really said that. Now, let's try again, but then when we thought about it, we're like, oh yeah, yes sir, yes sir, he said it. And there were 396 graduates of the historically black college, and their debt is estimated to be tens of millions of dollars. Now, in his speech, Smith also stressed the importance of community, especially the many people that helped him along the way. Well, con congratulations ah. to them, but, you know, as, as long as he's uh, opening up the wallet, yeah, I mean, there's uh, two, two people right here that might love to see. We'll take some of that right here. Yeah. Wow, very, very kind of him. Yeah, and congratulations to the grads as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we do have another look at your weather and traffic just ahead. But first, we're taking a live look right now as the sun rises over the Big Island. Look at that beautiful sunrise there in Hilo. That's from our cam camera over at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Visit HawaiiSavingsClub.com for daily deals and savings. Looking for better family health, wellness, and savings? HawaiiSavingsClub.com offers daily deals on Johnson & Johnson products. Don't get stuck paying full price and don't get stuck in traffic. Visit KITV.com before you get on the road. Got a chip or star crack in your windshield and it's safety check time? Repair your windshield before you go. Your chip repair may even be free, depending on your insurance. Book now. Free quote at aceautoglass.net or call us. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties with future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System, creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. Go ahead, skip this ad. Nothing to see here. Yes, this is an island insurance commercial. No, I'm not going to wow you with beautiful models or local celebrities. I'm not going to tell you about our goal low policy starting at only $27 a month or how it's the lowest rate to keep your car on the road or even how much money you'll save. You've got things to do. Nothing to see here. Exclusively from Island Insurance. Call 643-4000 or visit islandinsurance.com. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. Looking for better family health, wellness, and savings? HawaiiSavingsClub.com offers daily deals on Johnson & Johnson products. Don't get stuck paying full price and don't get stuck in traffic. Visit KITV.com before you get on the road. In Hannah's search for love, the, Mr. Right pageant. the guys bear everything. Everything. I'm starting to fall in love with you. We had less than two hours with her. It's blasphemy to me. All new Bachelorette, ABC Tonight. For this Monday, time now is 6.16. We are holding on to trade winds just a bit, especially for the eastern half of the state. And then by tonight, east to southeasterly winds will continue to feel. So anytime we have those Kona winds, humid conditions, definitely we have more of an uptick. We do have those trade winds this morning. Focus on the windward and Malka areas later on this afternoon and throughout the remaining of the week, more so for the leeward coast and interior sections. High temperatures in the upper 70s for the most part today in the upper 80s. And just yesterday, we saw some beautiful conditions with some of that cloud coverage, definitely making the most of it. Mahalo Joe Ramos for this. Today over Kauai, partly cloudy conditions over the windward side just for the morning. And some southeasterly showers already picking up just for the morning, expected to clear up more so throughout the day. Temperature highs in Lihue just yesterday beat the record 85 degrees. 2017, it was set at 84. Waimea is expected to reach 86. The leeward coast of Oahu up to 88. In Honolulu, yesterday, 
yesterday it was 89. It tied with 1996 temperature high. And for our Maui County breezier conditions this morning, again, east southeasterly winds by the afternoon. Kahului, 92 degrees for your Sunday. 1951, it was 90. And for our Hawaii Island, southwesterly winds will continue for Kailua Kona with partly cloudy conditions rolling in by the afternoon. Hila Hawaii at 86 for your Sunday, 87, tying with 1980. So definitely beach day, 1 to 3 for the north, west, and east, 2 to 4 for the south. We are continuing to track a moderate northwesterly swell arriving by your Aloha Friday. That's when the trade winds are expected to return as well. But until then, humid conditions, light and variable winds, and temperatures in the upper 80s. Now, here's a look at your traffic. No major accidents are stalled. Still looking good out on the roadways regarding accidents, but just your typical congested areas. Some heavy traffic before Kulawaka clearing up throughout the freeway, then traffic backed up through the Eva exit. And then we still have that power outage in Ala Moana, uh, also in the Mo'ili'ili area and Waikiki. Nearly a thousand customers are impacted. We do have some traffic signal failures out as well, like Apiolani Boulevard and McCulley. So definitely treat as an all-way stop. Slow going traffic through the H1, H2 merge touch and go traffic through the white and night exit down from the H2 as you are making your way onto the freeway traffic does actually pick up through Kaanohi either way into town today in one of the freeway we are still seeing some pretty good conditions even through the viaduct back to you Teja, thank you. Time now is 619, and we are learning new details about the kidnapping of an 8-year-old girl in Texas. The suspect is behind bars this morning, and the girl is home safe, all thanks to some good Samaritans. Marcus Moore gives us a first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, you are watching every parent's worst nightmare play out in real time. Eight-year-old Salem Sabatka taken from her mother's arms. Police say Salem and her mother were out for a walk at 6.30 Saturday evening when this man, 51-year-old Michael Webb, pulled up beside them and grabbed Salem. They say her mom jumped into that car, fighting to get her back, but Webb shoves her out of the way and speeds off. Eight agonizing hours later, two local church members spotting that vehicle in the parking lot of this motel, about 10 miles from where Salem was taken. Police bursting into a room, finding Salem safe inside. We got her. We got her. We got her. She's in custody. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll hear from one of the heroes who helped track down the alleged kidnapper. I'm Marcus Moore, ABC News, Fort Worth. Courtney, I've been single for a long time because I'm always traveling. Looking for a real relationship? I love meeting new people, diving into different cultures. I'm not a game player. I like nice guys. So if you're out there, come find me. Check out Match right now for free. People everywhere are confusing Quilted Northern for a bouncy castle. They're both durable, flexible, and nice to have at parties. But Quilted Northern is not a bouncy castle. It's just really nice toilet paper. When cravings come on strong, be stronger. With new Nicorette Coated Ice Mint, layered with flavor. It's the first and only coated nicotine lozenge for an amazing taste that outlasts your craving. New Nicorette Ice Mint. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Great tasting and sure. With 9 grams of protein... Coming up in the next half hour of Good Morning Hawaii, are we headed down a dangerous path in the war toward Iran? Yes, yeah, Hawaii U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard is warning people of just that this weekend, just ahead. And also we'll tell you about the latest anti-abortion law that's setting up a legal fight to challenge Roe versus Wade. But up next, the community is coming together in a search for a cure. Hear more about the movement to celebrate those battling arthritis when we come back. So, Darren, you're with the UPS store? Yeah. We actually printed these invites. I thought you guys just did shipping. No, we do printing, packing, shredding, notarizing, sure. mailboxing, faxing, binding, taping, laminating, copying, consulting, creating, designing, returning, and, of course, shipping. Nice costume. It's my work uniform. Go to the UPS store for every in your small business needs. And, of course, shipping. Need mailboxing? We have just the ink for you. Visit the UPS store today. My job is to be a perfectionist. My job is to collect every bit of evidence. 
My job is to provide for my family. My job is to serve my community. My job is to help the truth tell its side of the story. What drives us is the same as what drives you. We are Hawaii's government employees. At Ace Auto Glass, our certified technicians install windshield glass according to the Auto Glass Safety Council's highest safety standards for glass replacement. We call it Ace SureSet Bonding. So be confident with Ace SureSet Bond of Glass to your car or whatever you drive. And hey, Ace has free quotes at all nine locations. Replace with Hawaii's clear choice, Ace Auto Glass. We're at Ohanahale Marketplace. We're actually Hawaii's largest indoor shopping experience here in Kaka'ako on Ward Avenue. We feature over 200 different vendors, locally owned and operated here, offering a unique experience for our shoppers. We have local products, food, services. Very unique, something you won't find at your traditional mall. We have live music, special events going on. So come check us out here at Ohanahale Marketplace. This is the DuraBed of the all-new Chevy Silverado. That is huge. It offers a built-in 120-volt outlet. Wow. Plug that in for me. Oh, holy oh, smoke. Oh, wow. And the all-new Silverado has more trim levels than any other pickup. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. There's something for all of us. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado, or get a total value of over $9,000 when you finance with GM Financial. See your Hawaii Chevy dealer. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. Time now 624 and more than 50 million Americans have arthritis. That's over 200,000 of them living here in Hawaii. Yeah, KTV4's Mika Miyashima spoke with someone who suffers from it to find out how this disorder affects him on a daily basis. 29-year-old Samuel Stimson has lived with rheumatoid arthritis since he was 17. When I was diagnosed, I could hardly button my shirt. When I was in high school, I played rugby. I had to stop playing rugby back then. The disease causes pain and stiffness in the joints. And at first, Stimson didn't want to take medication for it. He was eventually forced to give in before arthritis took over his life. I was getting out of the water carrying boards, like limping up the beach, trying to put boards away and everything. And when you take a surf lesson, you expect like the a fit guy and everything and I was fit I just couldn't really walk. Now he knows how important it is to show his support to others. I feel like a lot of people don't realize the struggles that people go through I guess daily and um, for myself I know what it was like and I know there's people out there that have it ten times worse. Maile Kawamura senior executive director of the Arthritis Foundation says each year Hawaii's one mile walk to cure arthritis aims to raise awareness. Four people have arthritis, and it's the largest cause of workplace disability. The event was free, but donations were accepted and given to the Arthritis Foundation in hopes that someday it can be cured for good. Technology and science is advancing really fast, and so hopefully through doing fundraisers like this, we can generate more and more uh, funding to look at research, ways that we can start to tackle and identify this issue and help people live a more healthy, robust, active lifestyle. Mika Miyashima, KITV4 Island News. Yeah, and our own Lindsay Fukana was, was there herself. <laughs> That's so, right. Yeah, I, was, I was so lucky. I was, I was happy to be the MC of that event this year, the Walk to Hear Arthritis. There are about, I'd say, just under 1,000 people there. So. Yeah, and I was surprised at all ages, too. I didn't realize that. So, so definitely an important cause for sure. sure definitely. Yeah. It, arthritis is affecting 300 children nationwide as well. So it's not just adults, but also our keiki that are impacted. Absolutely. Well, your top morning headlines coming up. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Hi, affordable, everyday style and comfort, ideal for the whole family to love. Ashley Home Store's Memorial Day sale is going on now. Don't miss summer's hottest deals. 60 months financing. You can't afford to miss one of the best Memorial Day sales ever. Going on right now. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store, Hawaii. This is home.
step ahead is Hawaii's premier foot store. Our exclusive orthotic inserts relieve pressure off the heels and forefoot almost immediately, allowing you to get back to doing the things you love, no matter your occupation or hobby. If you have foot pain, we can help. We also have a wide variety of support shoes, sandals, and slippers that will help you get the relief you need while keeping you looking stylish. Call today to schedule an appointment or stop by one of our three convenient locations. Our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living. No home, no health care. So she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives. It's this drive, this compassion that inspired AARP. Today we empower people to choose how they live as they age. We advocate for health and financial security. We strengthen communities everywhere. We are AARP, creating real possibilities. Meet Kimo. After last night's storm, he's not feeling any aloha. His old jealousies leaked water everywhere. But today, he replaced them with Palmier louvers from his local hardware store. Kimo liked them for their tight ceiling, full ventilation, ease of operation, and durability. So now Kimo is full of aloha again. Mahalo, Palmier. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. KITV4 Island News Ask the Doctor, sponsored by Ekahi Wellness. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, it's the bill of the town. Find out why top Hollywood filmmakers will boycott the state of Georgia. I'm hoping the state, not just words, not just walking around, but actually action to make a difference. Plus, here why Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell says he wants to work with the state to clean up Chinatown. And see how local health groups are raising awareness about hepatitis B and HIV here in the islands just ahead. Good morning and welcome back. Time now, 6.30 on your Aloha Monday. It sure is <laughs> Aloha Monday. Kicking the week off right. <laughs> we are thinking positive this yeah. morning. And so that's good on this May 20th Aloha Monday. Things are looking good outside, Tasia. Yeah, Got to stay positive, though, because it's going to be a little muggy, right? <laughs> that's right. We are starting off with trade winds. That's the light side of it this morning. And then there's a shift later this afternoon. So definitely enjoy that while that lasts. Here's a look in Honolulu. We do have cloud coverage. So that's adding to higher humidity levels and warmer conditions. Conditions, even though our temperatures are clocking in at 77, it is feeling closer to 80 degrees. East northeasterly winds we saw dip down within the last hour and a half from double digits now to three miles per hour. That's what we're going to continue to see throughout the day. Some shifting conditions, but still beautiful skies as we saw from jo Joe. Mahalo for this beautiful island pick. Today, some cloud coverage over the leeward side later on in the afternoon. We do have just this hovering cloud that is continuing to just continue over our entire state. That's increasing our humidity levels just a bit. Also riding along some upper level southeasterly winds, which we are feeling for the western half of the state. So partly cloudy conditions rolling in more so for the leeward coast and central or interior sections by our late afternoon. Temperatures 85 to 90 degrees. We'll continue to get trade winds for the western half of the state and for the eastern half of the state for the most part. And then by the afternoon, east southeasterly winds and for the week ahead. Humidity levels will be high, temperatures as well, and our light and variable winds will continue. Your surf for the north, west, and east will continue to be calm, 1 to 3, 2 to 4 for the south, and your sunset at 7.05. Now, here's a look at your traffic. We do have lane closures on one little freeway eastbound direction at IA access road overpass today through Friday 8 30 till 3 o'clock that's later on for the shoulder improvement so just a heads up there also that power outage still impacting nearly a thousand customers Alamoana, Kaka'ako, Makali, Mo'ili'ili and Waikiki we do have some traffic signal failures as well so definitely treat as an always stop town spots now starting to see congestion all the way from middle throughout vineyard your alternate through Dillingham is looking clear 
Westbound traffic, we're getting a few scattered showers. Konea all the way through Waikele, pretty much gridlock, and then H1 merge all the way through Ka'ahumanu. Some slow going traffic. Your alternate through Kamehameha Highway is looking clear. That's a look at your weather and your traffic. Back to the desk. Thank you, Tasia. Time now 6.33, and there have been calls to clean up Chinatown, and the city says it's doing what it can to help out. But KTV4's Diana Ko shows us why Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell is calling out the state to try and do more. Parts of Honolulu's Chinatown have become a hotbed of trouble. It's a beautiful place that has been really challenged by our homeless situation and by crime. Last June, a high-profile death near Mauna Kea Liquor and Grocery brought long-simmering complaints to a head. John Nolan uh, was knocked down on the ground there and hit his head and he passed away. Um, we've had stabbings there. The mayor says he's doing what he can, but the city has no health department, so it can't tackle it alone. The state should step up, not just talk, not just walk around the kind of town, but actually say, here are the things we're going to do that work with us. Mayor Caldwell says he's willing to work with the state in giving medical treatment to the homeless. What he can do, though, is make smaller changes. From little things, we actually changed some of the bus stop benches so you can't lie down. We're talking about removing a bench at Sun Yat Sen Park. He's also talking with Police Chief Susan Ballard about increasing police presence. We're talking about how do we recruit more people, how do we maybe even create a cadet service, you know, more low level type of police force it would be more patrolling. More sit lie laws could also be on the way. Other ways to prevent people from being out on the streets after a certain hour to a certain hour and that way deal with people who are just lying around in, in doorways and in sidewalks and the edges of our parks. Lots of ideas and no easy answers but Mayor Caldwell says he's going to keep trying. And that was our Diane Ako reporting. Well, when you hit the roadways this morning, you're going to want to make sure you buckle up as always. Yeah, that's always good advice there. And KITV4's Mackenzie Sasko live for us this morning with why police are stepping up enforcement. Good morning, Mackenzie. Tom, good morning. We are live here just outside of HPD headquarters and police will be stepping up enforcement because of the annual click it or ticket campaign. So today through June 2nd, you'll see a lot of extra police officers on the roadways looking for people who are breaking the law and not buckling up. Here to tell us a little bit more about that campaign is Captain Ben Moskowitz, who heads Honolulu Police Department's traffic division. We've been talking about this click it or ticket campaign. If you could summarize what this means here in the community. Basically, we're your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt every trip, every time, buckle your kids up. It's simple. It's safe. It makes sense. It's quick. And it may save you from a $102 citation or, worst case scenario, it may save you from serious injury or death. Yeah, let's talk about the fees, the citations, the tickets. It is expensive. Maui and Oahu, and I believe the Big Island, it's about $102 if you get caught not wearing your seatbelt. But what about the other islands? So on Kauai, it's $112, um, and that's per person, right? So if you and I are together in the car, I'm driving, and neither of us is buckled, I'm getting two tickets for $102. So it can add up really quick. Um, so it is inconvenient. You have to take time off to pay a fine or maybe go to court. Um, but ultimately, it's about safety. And it's just a reminder that we we want people to buckle up. I'd much rather spend the entire click it or ticket period and give zero click it or ticket, no seatbelt citations, but have no traffic fatalities or serious injury collisions, which for us, that's what it boils down to. And which, you know, in the past few years, we have had several traffic fatalities involving people who weren't wearing their seatbelt. According to the, to the Hawaii Department of Transportation, wearing your seatbelt actually gives you a 40% chance of saving your life of living throughout that car crash. Can you explain that statistic? Yeah, it's actually 45%, which is even better. So if you are properly seat belted, you're properly uh, occupied and restrained in the car, your chances of surviving a really serious crash that could have ended in a fatality goes up by 45%. You're 45% more likely to live in that same crash if you're wearing your seat belt. And the statistics bear it out. In 2017, a third of our car crashes on statewide that were fatalities for people inside a motor vehicle, 20 of those people, a third of them were not buckled up. That doesn't jive because if you look at the statistics, 97% of people that happen to be driving down the street behind us are buckled up. Statistics will tell us that. But almost a third of people in these serious crashes that died were not buckled up. 
right, Captain Moskowitz from the Honolulu Police Department's Traffic Division. Thank you so much. As he mentioned, make sure you buckle up the Click It or Ticket campaign. Today through June 2nd, you'll see a lot of extra police officers on the roadways, not just here in Honolulu, but really across the state in all four counties. So again, just make sure you buckle your seatbelt. For now, we'll send it back to you inside. Thank you, Mackenzie. In news around the nation, dozens of abortion rights advocates are preparing a national protest for tomorrow. Now, this coming after recently passed state bills that ban most abortions. John Lorink has the very latest for us. Demonstrations throughout Alabama this weekend. We've only just begun. This days after the state enacted the strictest anti-abortion law in the country. The Alabama law prohibits all abortions except when the woman's life is at risk or the presence of a lethal fetal anomaly. It does not include exceptions for incest and rape. More than a dozen states have either passed or considered measures to restrict abortion this year. Missouri Governor Mike Parson is set to sign an eight-week abortion bill into law. I believe in the pro-life side of the, the issue, and I'm going to sign the bill. Not all Republicans are on board with these laws. Uh, I'm pro-life, but there ought to be exceptions for rape and incest <clears throat> and where the life of the mother is at risk. President Trump said the same thing in a weekend tweet, saying his stance on the issue is similar to the one taken by former President Ronald Reagan. Polling from Perry Undum that says that 53% of Republicans do not want Roe v. Wade to be overturned. But this is a matter of a small minority that is deeply passionate about this, has very strong beliefs that abortion should be illegal. The ACLU, which supports abortion rights, says it'll sue to make sure none of those laws ever go into effect. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Well, two Hollywood titans are taking on Georgia and its heartbeat bill law. Filmmaker Ron Howard and producer Brian Glazer said that they will boycott the state if that anti-abortion law goes into effect next year. In a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, they said Governor Brian Kemp's bill is a direct attack on women's rights. And they also said they will move ahead with their plans to make the film Hillbilly Elegy in Georgia. But the possible boycott would begin in 2020. Well, Hawaii Congresswoman and presidential hopeful Tulsi Gabbard has a warning for the nation yesterday. We are at a greater risk of nuclear war now than ever before in history. And we've got to understand what the consequences of that are. Putin and, and President Trump. Now, Gabbard was a guest on ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos. The Democrat accused President Trump of leading the nation down what she called a, quote, dangerous path towards war with Iran. He says he doesn't want it, but the actions of him and his administration, people like John Bolton and Mike Pompeo, tell us a very different story. Now, Gabbard says she wants to de-escalate tensions with other countries, including Russia and China, to get their help to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. On your health watch this morning, Pacific Islanders and Asians make up a third of newly diagnosed cases for HIV in recent years. The Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center and Hep Free Hawaii say the population group also faces a much greater rate of Hep B virus than the general population. And that's why the two community health groups are raising awareness to teach people about the diseases. For me, HIV and AIDS was really a blessing and it seems like it's my life purpose and I'm living it with passion and with love. Us being able to feature these short films about um, the experience of people living with these viruses really makes it for a conversation starter uh, for people and their families. And organizers do say that this event will hopefully help fight the stigma through storytelling. Well, time now, 641. When we come back, possible scholarships and endorsement deals for teenage gamers. That's right. See how some colleges are preparing gamers for the future just ahead. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Use the Spectrum TV app and watch live TV anywhere around Hawaii, even on-demand titles. Spectrum. Spectrum Internet delivers. Based on the latest FCC broadband report measuring Broadband America, Spectrum is the top performing internet provider, delivering more speed more consistently. Spectrum Internet provides the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance, combined with no data caps and no speed throttling. Plus, free security suite and a free modem. Spectrum Internet is the best choice for connecting you to what matters most. Spectrum. 
Limited time only. Inspiration's Memorial Day weekend rush is going on now. 20% store-wide saving on sofas, bedrooms, dining sets. Up to 60% off popular selected models. Or interest-free financing for five years. Hawaii's lowest furniture prices guaranteed. Our huge in-stock inventory assure quick expert delivery and installations. Rush in now, save big. Inspiration, Pro Ridge Center, Kapolei Commons, and Honolulu Design Center. There's a light that's been shared by our ancestors. It carries kindness, compassion, and wisdom. A light from our loved ones to us, and from us to those we touch and connect with. This light is Shinyo, an innate loving kindness that we share through our words and actions, honoring all who came before us. Share your light. Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii. My name is Kevin Nip, and I am the founder of Selective Stone. I was born and raised here on Oahu. A lot of my business came from the connections I've made through the years. Selective Stone is all about quality. We have a large variety of material on island, which gives customers the chance to find exactly what they're looking for. Our mission is to supply attractive stone to the community. We look forward to satisfying our customers' needs. Selective Stone, Hawaii's leader in stone innovation. Learn more at selectivestone.net. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. The Queens Medical Center, Hawaii's health care leader for 160 years. Time now is 6.44 and mahalo Joyce for sending in this beautiful island photo from the island of Maui. Today we will continue to see partly cloudy conditions rolling in over our windward and interior sections by the late afternoon with a bit of scattered showers but quickly passing by. Today current conditions we are seeing lighter winds today, lighter variable winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Current temperatures are all within the upper 70s. Today throughout your afternoon daytime highs 85 to 90. The surf is also a good idea. Once to three for the northwest and east to two to four for the south so calm conditions but definitely going to help with all the humidity levels that are definitely increased we do have a cold front approaching for the northwest that's the reason for all of the interruption with our trade wind flow not expecting our trade winds until aloha friday today again nice and warm sunset at 705 and humid conditions all the way throughout thursday now here's a look at your traffic Kamehameha Highway, now we're starting to see some moderate traffic. We do have a stalled vehicle near Makalapa Gates. FSP is assisting with that. Coming in through the H1H to merge heavy all the way through Waimalu and then touch and go traffic through Ka'ahumanu and a few passing showers as you are coming into Ka'anohi. FSP also assisting a stalled vehicle westbound direction before Ka'anohi overpass. Either way into town today, Wanalua Freeway, moderate traffic where we did see a stalled vehicle just has been cleared. And the viaduct clear all the way to town where it's congested from middle through vineyard. Over to you. All right, thank you, Tasia. Time now 646 and gas prices, they may go up just before Memorial Day weekend. And if you're short on cash, a new travel company offering up a pay-as-you-wish vacation deal. Jane King is at the NASDAQ with those stories and more in today's KITV4 Island Business Report. Good morning, stocks starting the week off on a down note. A couple of pieces of news this morning. We are seeing oil prices up on increased tension between the U.S. and Iran. Ford has announced 7,000 job cuts. Some of those have already taken place. And the FCC chairman has thrown its, his support behind the uh, T-Mobile and Sprint merger. So huge step there for them. Well, more than one in four Americans skipping a vacation this year. And the number one reason is because they can't afford it. That's according to a recent bank rate survey. Now, glamping, that is glamorous camping and there's a travel company in this industry called under canvas it is running a promotion that will allow selected travelers to take a vacation and only pay what they can afford people can stay at one of their camps across the country and many of those are near national parks well america's pay is going up the booming economy causing a worker shortage and some labor experts say pay increases could soon be four to five percent a year job openings recently surpassed the number of unemployed by 1.3 million but you can now pay with bitcoin at whole foods 
Foods, Nordstrom, and other retailers. It works through a mobile app called Spadden that says you deposit the cryptocurrency into the account and then scan a code at the register. And analysts warn the respite from high gas prices may not last. Heading into Memorial Day weekend, the national average gas price is 2.85, according to AAA. Now in Hawaii, AAA says the average price is 3.64 a gallon. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King for KITV4 Island Business Report. Not much aloha when it comes to gas prices. <laughs> right, but, I, know, <laughs> I know. Gas is um, uh, just about the price of a gallon of milk in yeah. some areas. So uh, not fun on the wallet, but no. other, other news now. Trade war still on between the U.S. and China with no deal in sight. Some of the tariffs in place against Chinese goods could soon hit American pet owners. Prices may be going up on pet food, a $30 billion industry last year. And fish owners may actually have to pay more uh, to restock their tanks. Many species of fish are often imported from China. And meat prices, they may also be on the rise, but not because of tariffs. Hog farms in China have been hammered by African swine fever. And that means China is expected to import more pork, beef, and poultry to make up for the loss, which could raise prices around the world. All right, well, time now, 6.49, and playing video games could help you get your college scholarship and also even land a professional career. Video yeah. games. Yeah, a lot of kids are going to be, like, making that case to their parents, for sure. <laughs> Well, electronic sports or esports expected to become the next billion dollar industry with a global audience growing to hundreds of millions. Dana Backus has more. Headsets, keyboards, gaming consoles, and computer monitors. When you think of a sports arena, this? Our players often will spend several hours a day here, maybe three, four, five hours. Doesn't usually fit the bill. But for those who grew up playing video games, these arenas are part of an expanding future of sports. And I do think esports is disrupting what we think of as athletics or competition. Mark Deppi is the director of esports at the University of California, Irvine. I view them as cognitive performers. UCI was the first public university to create an official esports program. Complete with junior varsity and varsity teams, they even offer player scholarships. Would you consider them athletes? I do consider them athletes. I mean, they have to spend a ton of time and energy to improve their game, and they're in the top .005% of people that play this game competitively. Collegiate esports isn't just about gaming. Their routine is very similar to athletic programs. They have coaches, trainers, and spend hours practicing. From my own experience as a former pro and as a former collegiate player, but I think being a collegiate player is just a little bit harder. After finishing high school, James Latman became a professional gamer he retired before the age of 25 and is now a student. The intensity of doing one thing an entire day for 14 hours a day compared to practicing eight hours a day and then studying for another five to six hours. He joined UCI's program, leading them to a national championship in 2018. I'm looking at the damage. Esports is predicted to be the next wave of competitive entertainment. Globally, it's projected to bring in a billion dollars in revenue this year alone, according to games and esports and analytics company New Zoo. Good job last now UCI and dozens of colleges across the country are helping to change the definition of a student athlete. Donya Backus, ABC News, Los Angeles. A time now 651 and coming up Tasia has a last check on your weather and traffic when we come back. Sponsored by Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner, Hawaii's personal injury law firm. About seven years ago, um, I was paralyzed, no fault on my own, due to negligence of others. I'm a C5 quadriplegic, so I only have the use of my shoulders and biceps. I don't have any tricep muscles, no wrist, no finger, hand movement. In ICU, I was shocked. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't speak. I, I had a trach. A lot of whispering was going on, but nobody came on and told me I was paralyzed. James and his family were facing an uncertain future with a baby on the way. My wife brought in an ultrasound picture of my son, and at that point I knew that I had to, I had to fight for him, my other two children. James's brother decided to call Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. So when he called them, I mean, it turned out to be the best thing because they got me back to rehab. They helped me getting nursing staff, and they were there every step of the way. Anytime I needed anything, they were, they were always there for me. Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner, Hawaii's trusted personal injury law firm. My name is uh, James Gazelle. I own two Teddy's Bigger Burgers. My lawyer is Whitty Soldner from Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. 
From the smallest cottage to the largest house on the block, Wisteria Lane has something for everyone. Transform your home with one of our wide selection of flooring, a luxurious look for the everyday homeowner, and with an unbeatable pricing. Visit Wisteria Lane today. My cholesterol was going up, my blood pressures were going up, and my weight was going up, and I didn't know what to do. But my doctor said to consider the Akahi Ornish program. And after the nine weeks, my weight was down. Now a total of 45 pounds. My blood pressures are normal, and my cholesterol is still normal. I feel better than I have in 20 years. What's your current mood? Are you in the mood for tacos, burgers, pasta, or maybe sushi? We all have those days when we're just too busy to cook or go out for a meal. Enter Bite Squad. No matter what you're craving, you can order restaurant food on the Bite Squad app, and we'll deliver it right to your door. And the best part? No prepping, no cleanup. Just really great food from your favorite restaurants. Bite Squad. Food for your mood. Delivered. Farah was a golden girl. Bigger than life. Now, 10 years after her death, stunning rare video. There's no room for despair. And deepest desire is to live. This is Farah Fawcett. That's one thing people probably don't know about her. Thursday at 8, 7 central on ABC. Time now is 6.54. We're taking a look at Honolulu. As you can see, blue skies. We also have some cloud coverage focus over the mountain areas with a few scattered showers that will continue throughout the day. We do have high humidity levels due to just a band of moisture lingering over the state. East northeasterly winds have for this morning, but east southeasterly winds already started to creep upon us from the northwest as a cold front does approach. We will continue to see partly cloudy conditions and a few showers focus over leeward and interior sections by the late afternoon into the evening. Evening. Again, that cold front coming in from the northwest will stall our winds just a bit. Trade winds expected by your Aloha Friday, so hot and humid throughout the rest of the week. Your daytime highs 85 to 90 with sunset at 705. That's a look at your weather. Here's a look at your surf with Maggie P. Good morning, Tasia. Here are today's space scale wave height. Surf up north is one to barely occasional three for the North Shore, but conditions are glassy everywhere. Macaw has flat to barely occasional threes also coming in from the southwest wrap. Southern shores are two to four with extremely occasional pluses at top reef, but Diamond Head and Sandy Beach are a little better at two to slightly more consistent fours with occasional pluses. And then Makapu'u is two to three today. Tide is low right now, dropping to negative 0.2, and then coming up again this evening to a high of 1.8 at 5 p.m. Your morning surf report is powered by Movadi Coffee, now featuring Kona blends with tropical flavors. Pick up your Movadi Coffee at Don Quixote or visit MovadiCoffee.com. Back to you, Tasia. Thank you for that, Maggie P. Here's a look at your traffic coming in from the west side. Heavy traffic through Manager's Drive that does continue all the way through the H1H2 merge. Touch and go traffic through our Wai'anae exit down from the H2. Again, from the merge all the way through Waimalu, we are seeing some heavier traffic and some light scattered showers. Traffic does actually pick up just a bit through Ka'anohi. We still have that stalled vehicle westbound direction right before that overpass. Aia Heights overpass, we do have some touch and go traffic as well. Moanalua Freeway or the Viaduct, clear conditions into your town spots. Middle all the way through Vineyard, that's where we're seeing congestion. Throughout your central areas like Ward, we actually are seeing a nice flow. East Side Drive on Kaleni Anaoli Highway, touch and go traffic that does continue from Laukahi all the way throughout the H1 West. And from the Pali Contra flow, we are also seeing some clear conditions. Drive times into town from Hawaii Kai through Honolulu, 20 minutes, 85 from Wa'anae through Honolulu and from Eva Beach throughout your town spots, 43. All right, thanks, Tasia, and thanks to you all for waking up with us, getting your week off to a, a good, good start, start here on Monday, Aloha <laughs> Monday. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Hawaii. Be sure to like KTAIV, uh, KITV on Facebook where you can weigh in on our stories. You can also find KITV on Roku. You can find us everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, the whole all, nine yards. All, we have all over it all. the place, that's right. We'll have an update to our biggest stories of the day during Island News, midday at noon. We'll see you right back here then. Have a great day. Aloha. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News.
Step Ahead is Hawaii's premier foot store. Our exclusive orthotic inserts relieve pressure off the heels and forefoot almost immediately, allowing you to get back to doing the things you love, no matter your occupation or hobby. If you have foot pain, we can help. We also have a wide variety of support shoes, sandals, and slippers that will help you get the relief you need while keeping you looking stylish. Call today to schedule an appointment or stop by one of our three convenient locations. If you use hearing aids or have difficulty hearing, try the new Micro CIC with advanced smart technology. Hear more naturally with less background noise. Adjusts automatically to your listening environment. Custom designed to be small, comfortable, and fitted for your hearing needs. Hi, I'm Howard Tamashiro. Call us at Hearing Center of Hawaii so we can help to better your hearing. Hearing Center of Hawaii, conveniently located in Honolulu and Pearl Ridge. Hawaii small businesses work hard to deliver value to their customers. Brand and Price of Fast Loop Inc. operates six facilities with a new express car wash in Waipio. Dr. Kenneth Chang of Eye Doctors Hawaii provides patients with advanced laser and surgical treatments. Mitch Parcella Bike Factory offers a wide variety of BMX, mountain and cruiser bikes with skateboards and scooters. As Small Business Lender of the Year, Central Pacific Bank supports local businesses and all they do for our economy. It's another way CPB is going beyond for you. Hawaii small businesses work hard to deliver value to their customers. David Chang of Little Village Noodle House provides a lively eatery with traditional Cantonese fare and inventive combos. Manoa chocolate owners Dylan and Tamara Butterball provide a tasting room and shop, offering high-end chocolate from sustainably sourced beans. As Small Business Lender of the Year, Central Pacific Bank works harder to help you reach your goals. It's another way CPB works for you. There's nonstop fun for everyone at the 50th State Fair. Don't miss the Demolition Derby, Monster Trucks, and a Rockin' Rodeo. Plus thrilling rides like Blackout and Speed. Details at